Have you put on more muscle? Like right here and right there. <laughs> yes, you've definitely filled out a bit. It's a good look for you. See how closely I've got my eye on you? <laughs> hey, Gaius, what's your favorite color? My favorite color? Why would you ask that? If I'm making accessories for everyone, it would be so cute if everyone got a different color! Hmm. Just curious, really. Humans have such a different sense of aesthetics than we spirits do. Is that right? I do not have a preference. I'll use whatever color is most functional in a given situation. Oh, you don't say. Gosh! Thanks for the help! I asked the simplest possible question, and you can't even throw me a bone! <laughs> but let's say someone was going to give you a present. What color would you want it to be? I see little value in being particular about such things. Perhaps Luger could be of more use to you in aesthetic matters. Huh? Hmm. You're not dumping this off on me, Gaius. Even you demand that I persist with this? All right then, I suppose blue is a fine color. Blue? Well, that's a surprise. It hasn't always been a favorite, but since I now associate it with you, Muse, I have come to view it more fondly. Huh. Oh, really? Oh, wow! I had no idea Gaius had such a soft side! Mm. Don't look at me like that. That's the most lip service I can muster. Just be happy I didn't make her upset. Mm. Is that Julius's pocket watch? You brought it back from his dimension? Must be due to El's powers. You two must still be connected somehow. But Julius's watch has stopped. I'm the one who broke it. This watch is Julius himself. That may be true, but it's hardly the whole story. If you hadn't been around, I bet that watch and Julius would have both stopped long ago. You think so? The weakest people are the ones without something to protect. But being willing to work himself to death for someone else... You gotta admire that. Your brother did what most people couldn't do. And I'm sure you know the reason why. <laughs> yeah. A binational military force. What an interesting idea. Indeed. It is an obvious idea. But actually putting it into operation reveals numerous obstacles. It's a testament to the spurious corporation that they were able to iron out those obstacles so quickly. Yes, it certainly is. Gaius has such long eyelashes. They're like the eyelashes of a horse! <coughs> hmm? If this sort of experiment becomes commonplace, it would give me more hope that humans and spirits will be able to coexist peacefully in the future. Yes, indeed. In that sense, I have high hopes for you. What do you think, Luger? <laughs> so we're all agreed, then. That makes me think. How come it's considered a compliment to comment on the length of someone's eyelashes? And yet... You're not supposed to mention their nose here at all. <coughs> Luger? Gaius, is something wrong? No. Hmm? Beard hair is fine too, just like eyelashes. Only nose hair is forbidden. It makes no sense. I just don't get human aesthetics at all. <laughs> What's wrong? Have you caught a cold? No. I'm fine. It's just a normal physiological response. But you were splashed with a significant amount of water back there. I knew I should have. M Mila! It, it's fine. Honestly, I'm good. Hmm. I'll be nice and not ask. I appreciate that, Luger. Hmm? Mila? 
What's wrong? It's just... I have the weirdest feeling. I know I'm supposed to keep it a secret, but... It's like I have this itch and the only way to scratch it is to tell someone. Huh? Hmm. This must be how secrets leak. <gasps> I get it now. That's not a good thing. You can't tell anyone. Period. <laughs> I know that. Luger, um, there's something I want you to have. Here, it's from me. It's my way of saying thank you. That's not all she's saying. Tipo, shut up. I told you it's not like that. Girls can be so complicated. The big man is Elisa's father? Oh, don't know how I feel about that. But it seems quite clear that he cares very deeply for her. I don't think the me of this world knows the truth about who Zhao is and what he did to my real mother and father. <laughs> Sometimes we're better off not knowing the truth. You think so? I understand what he's saying. There are things I know that I wish I didn't. That's ominous. Like what? Well, for example... Do you know the lovely smell of freshly laundered bedding? What you're smelling is the decaying corpses of dust mites. Huh? No way! I don't believe you. That smell comes from the sunlight that dried it out. Oh, that is partially true. Some of the smell does come from sun-dried human sweat and sebaceous fluids. Huh? You're kidding! I know you're kidding! Oh, there's more. Stop! I can't take another word! I was just going to say that I was kidding. So sweet, so innocent, so easily duped. <laughs> I need to do this more often. <laughs>